some of the techniques that we're talking about tonight are, are still used in highly modern manufacturing. I mean, jet planes still have forged elements. And mostly now in, in some of the high-tech industries, we use forging. And we even use it in the clock project, the 10,000-year clock. Um, you can see these uh, stainless ring forgings. These are uh, basically when you want to get, uh, you know, if you were going to try and make a, cer a large circular thing out of stainless steel now, making it all a disc, cutting it out of plate, would cost way too much money. So you actually get these ring forgings made, you machine those, and then you, so you get this what's called near net objects made. Um, and uh, so we did that for some of the largest bearings that are in the clock, these uh, whole series of you know, 30 inch bearings uh, that, were, that we built for the clock. And so it's, a, it's both an ancient process and it's an extremely modern process at the same time. And I think the other thing that's important to understand about, um, about forging is it's, it's very different than most of the modern processes that we now have. It used to be, uh, you know, for the last kind of 100 years, we've really been using reductive processes, which means you have a milling machine moving through steel um, or metal that's removing from a large block. And so you're doing reductive processes. And now everyone's very excited about additive processes where we're, we're adding layers of plastic or even metal now to create things with 3D printers. And, uh, and that's, that's what that is. But what we're talking about tonight is really what's called effectively a plastic process. Yes. Um, where we start with a lump of a thing and you don't really get to um, change its mass fundamentally. You just get to move its mass around. And so you actually have to, your brain has to think in a very different way to create things with forgings than it does for some of these other processes. And um, it's, you know, I think many of you have heard the old adage of, you know, how did you, you know, Michelangelo, how did you carve that, uh, you know, the Pieta out of stone? He's like, well, I, I started with a stone and I removed everything that wasn't the Pieta, right? And so that's, that's one way of thinking about how to create objects. But this way is, is I started with this mass of stone and I pushed it, or clay in a way, it's more like clay, I formed it into that object, but I never got to change its mass fundamentally. Mm -hmm.